<laughs> yo real quick man uh my man spready gibbs brother yo i can't even show no type of video for this but spready gibbs Freddie Gibbs, <laughs> I kind of want to clown this nigga, but I kind of feel bad for him. But then I'm like, you can't feel bad for a nigga whose job. Freddie Gibbs wanted to pop out with his new girl on Valentine's Day. He had a nice little song, the little D'Angelo song with Lauren Hill. You know what I mean? She was in here talking about happy, birth, happy Valentine's Day. I'm in love with you unconditionally. Well, I'll tell you that. The last escort told you that too, Freddie Gibbs. Anyway... Um, his ex, which is named Destiny Creams, decided, you know what, let, let me, you know, I've held on to this one picture of Freddie Gibbs bending over and spreading his ass cheeks to expose a very gaping butthole, okay? Um, yeah, his ex dropped a picture of him spreading his ass cheek like he was finna get penetrated and exp expose his butthole. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Spready Gibbs, it was always a joke. But when you saw it was real, fuck. Like, nigga, I ain't going to lie to you. This turned into, yo, this turned in from a comedy to a horror movie, my nigga. I couldn't even believe it. Like, to be honest, I, I remember thinking, nah, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. By the way, she had said she would probably would never drop it. But clearly, ain't you know, they always say, uh, hell hath no fury wor way worse than a woman's scorn. And I got to be honest with you, man. That shit ruined my day. It ruined my lunch. Nigga, I haven't eaten since I seen that motherfucking picture. And Freddie Gibbs, man, I'm going to give you some advice. I'm not one to speak about, like, especially, we've all made decisions with dealing with the woman and maybe we shouldn't have. Now, you did the ultimate worst because you got that person pregnant and she's tormenting the fuck out of you. But I will tell you this, too. Your current girl is the same type of mold. My nigga, if you just picked a stretch forward pause <laughs> or you picked a, a playmaking point guard in 2K and you got your ass beat and you deleted the character, why would you make the same goddamn build? You got the same girl who's now on OnlyFans. She's going to be doing the same goddamn things. It's only a matter of time before we see a goddamn fucking cock just like orbiting in her face and landing in the back of her trachea and you're gonna be in the same situation again she's gonna be on the fan bus then you finna get her pregnant because we know listen i don't know why you seem like porn stars and these girls that are just like basically a builder body like that but eventually she gonna be on my stream exposing you feel me and then when you get her pregnant again i'm gonna raffle off the name of your next baby and it's okay but all i'm saying is that while you try to have this like moment of happiness let me show you all them if you haven't seen it while you try to have this little moment of happiness, just remember how the last one turned out. Uh, I'm rooting for you because you know what? Trust me, this is a bad year for men. I feel like these women are all showing their colors, but they're all trying to ruin men. And even though I don't like you, my nigga, listen, I, I have more I have more fun hearing about um, Jim Jones beating your ass because that's some man shit. Um, you, you getting your chain took by Benny the Butcher and his goons, that's some man shit. But a girl just constantly using a child and using the fact that you used to probably do some homosexual gestures, whether you were having things inserted in your anus or you were just squatting and coughing like you thought you was at, I don't know what the fuck, maybe you thought you was in prison. Uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna relish in that happening. All I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you a, a good warning. Watch out for this next one because she fit in the same bill as the first one already. OnlyFans, check. Down the fuck for some shit, check. If you see her follow the same pattern, you should not be surprised, my nigga. Okay? But that's as much as I can give you a warning, okay? Uh, <laughs> somebody said, that's why one of them fuck with him? I don't know why, why Gunner don't fuck with him. I have no idea. Maury says, I seen this man asshole on my timeline out of nowhere. I got spooked and I was flabbergasted. Yeah, it is what it is. You feel me? Um, Shiner and Shaker, he says, yo, bro, mad respect to you, Ak. I fuck with your merch, and I got my own clothing line. Uh, shout me out, too. It's called the Renaissance Club. By the way, speaking of merch, I know that's a hard turn. Pause. Go to Instagram.com. No, not Instagram.com. I'm in. Uh, Theacademy.shop. Okay? This is the website right here. Please, everybody, 
everybody and their mother. Go here, hit the enter button, and we just dropped some uh, Valentine's Day merch. This is fire. You're going to see me wearing this like in the next couple of days. And we, we got two shirts out, and we have a mystery box. If you don't know how the mystery box is, if you missed the merch drop before or you want some shit that we're working on that we're going to be dropping in a month or two, you could get the mystery box. You could get anything from a chat nigga hoodie to anything. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a randomized thing. And the only guarantee is that it will be more than the amount you pay. I think you could pick how much you could pay. So you could pay $50, 200 10 whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You might get a shot glass if you get put $10. You might get a shot glass and three shirts if you put 25 Who knows, bro? I don't care. Anyway, <clears throat> um, please go check that out. But the website is theacademy.shop. Uh, let me see what else. Jesus Christ, man. The Freddie Gibbs shit. I ain't gonna lie. Freddie, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm gonna save the cooking for you tomorrow. I'm gonna come back and cook you tomorrow, my nigga. But uh, to be honest, chat, I felt bad because y'all know I've gone through my shit with, let's just say women in the last six months. So like, I, I, I have a little bit of empathy. Like, I'm like, ah, uh, like, I know how these, how vindictive these women could get, right? Like, shit, talking about vindictive women, shit, have y'all seen this? Hold on a second. Have y'all seen this? You got Destiny over here exposing her little NFL baby daddy. So Destiny, uh, you know, chat queen. Oh, did she delete it? No, she didn't. She's now exposed that she was being um, abused by her NFL baby daddy, Eli Apple. I don't know what team he plays for, but whatever. She put out videos and pictures of her supposedly with bruises while she was pregnant. And she's claiming in this long ass caption that the baby's health is forever traumatized and damaged. Because of the abuse she suffered. She says trigger warning. But since it's going to go viral again. I want to speak on it. I'm an extremely private person to my private life. But since this man has continued to speak on, wrong on our child. Play games in court. And running from his warrant in Colorado. And still found a way to make me look like a horrible person. When our son is the only victim. It's crazy. Last year I was abused by my ex-partner. NFL player Eli. Eli Apple that is. While I was carrying our child, which led to the decline in our son's health, his now partner has found a way. And by the way, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm always suspect of lines like this. Like, again, I'm not saying that she hasn't, but what the, what the hell does his new girlfriend got to do with anything? Talk about that nigga. She's, but she says, his now partner has found a way to my phone and sent me messages of him still hoping our son's passed away due to his disability and also continues to call his own child discriminating terms. I had two surgeries while pregnant. This caused my placenta to tear apart. My son heart start to fail in deteriorating. Uh, uh, Eli had agreed to a transfusion of 30 MLS blood to correct our son's issue, but later backed down and had to deliver 16 weeks early due to resulting in a six month ICU stay for a son and many of his lifelong disabilities. Back in August post, I went viral with my close friends, I was portrayed to be the bad guy. But it's about time I took the narrative of the story. The only victim in this is her son. Abuse is never okay and should be brought to light. Okay. And these are some of the pictures she uh, put out. Um, clearly... This is this, this is pretty unfortunate that there's a child involved in this and even more worrisome than than the possible victim destiny is the fact that there's a kid who's most likely going to be affected for the rest of their life because of the drama and trauma between these two individuals. So, you know, I'm sorry to hear that, but kind of effed up. It's kind of messed up. And I believe this is the this is the baby, I believe. She said, I want to thank everyone who has reached out. Romeo is doing great and will continue to thrive and let God work. It's an unfortunate situation, but he was the best blessing to come from it. Okay. All right. Well. All right. 
Um, <clears throat> we'll bring Destiny on at a point, and we'll talk more about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to try to have a little bit of pushback just because I don't think homie's going to come on here. And, you know, a lot of times these situations, there's it's a multifaceted situation. And also, I don't know if the nigga did anything that she's accused him of, even though she does have some proof. Let's be very clear. There's some, some proof of some shit happening, which don't look too good. Now, by the way, I think, you know, we had talked about this with her, and she was talking about NDAs and, you know, obviously there's an NFL component because he's somebody in the league. We don't know what will happen with all of that. You get what I mean? All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, people, I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. Okay, I've been on for 6 hours and 30 minutes. I'll be on tomorrow. I know we got to get back into our regular uh, 